What's up guys, this is the review of the Element Push Talks, as well as the new Element E-Light, which recently hit North America. And I decided to, uh, to group all these Push Talks into one video, because they're all relatively similar in their function and, you know, what they're made of. So, it'll be a lot easier just grouping them into one video, rather than making a separate video for all eight or seven of them. But first, we're going to review the little Element E-Light, and this thing is pretty cool and pretty fun to play with. So... Once you get to the, past the pretty simple packaging, packaging pretty much just says, let's focus on here, flexible waterproof tactile switch, lightweight. Well, I don't really know what that means, but basically you put this on the top of your helmet or your vest as a Velcro. So lots of the Mitch 2000 as well as the PAS GT, I don't know if you just like, pass JIT or whatever, PAS GT. The SWAT helmet, put on top of that, and you can press the button, and it blinks green. So it has an on, blink, and an off switch, and it's made of nice flexible rubber, as well as a flexible base with Velcro on top of it, well, on the bottom of it. So you put this on your helmet, and your teammates can identify you. Just press the button, and they can see you in the dark. This is really more Milson. This isn't too practical, but it is pretty cool to have on your vest, because, you know, you can be like a human Christmas ornament if you get a bunch of these with a bunch of Velcro, so who needs patches anymore? Comes with a little string that you can use as a ne necklace, just loop around here, and it's pretty cool. Made of a nice rubber gel, it says e -Late on it, one time of about 140 hours actually, which is pretty long. You can leave this on a couple of days and come back and it'll still be blinking. So. The MSRP on this is $15 from evike.com. Next we have the, looks like the Motorola Talk About uh, PTT, well, one of the PTTs, and let's go ahead and open this. Pretty simple packaging, not too hard to open. Oops, out. If I didn't say it was simple packaging, easy to open, it would have came out on the first try. Here we go. So, before I get a, truly into the review, I'm going to just explain what a push a talk is, if you guys don't already know. So basically, you attach the headset to this, and your radio to this. And through your headset, you can hear what people on your radio say, and when you press this button, you can talk. And, yeah, it's basically a pretty simple device, but... Also very useful if you play Milsim. These are very, very, very common in armed forces due to their ease of use and their, you know, simple design. So basically just put your headset in here, attach your radio here, and you press the button when you want to talk, and you let go when you want to stop. And it has a little... That's a pretty tough clamp. There we go. A clamp. Just clamp it onto your molly, it looks pretty small, fit into one molly weaving. And you can have it on your vest, and you can have the headset, and we'll get to the headset review later. And it's a pretty cool device, MSRP, $20 for eBike.com. Next we have the, the classic PTT, the military phone. These aren't necessarily used too much nowadays, at least not in the American Army. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I know you guys love to correct me, especially high on cheese nips. I'm not sure if you still watch these videos, but, you know. So, same function here, and this is for the Kenwood version. We have Kenwood, Mo Motorola, and ICOM. Except this does not connect with a headset. This is the headset. You listen through here, talk to here. You guys know how the phone works. Push to talk. Next, we have the... Z114. That's that's the code. Motor talk about version. This is actually my favorite one of all these push talks. Oops, really shouldn't have done that. Later. And I will show you why in one second. Okay, like the other one, it does come with a clip, but this one is Velcro, and the bottom is also Velcro, so you can easily attach this to your vest. If you don't want to clip it on, you can just Velcro it on. I recently got a new vest that just has the Velcro on the top in the perfect spot where I would have this. So, same idea here. Attach the headset here. Plug it into your motor I'll talk about for this version, and you push the talk. Pretty simple design. Very, very useful. 
And if you don't want to use the Velcro, you can always have your little clamp. Next, we have the Z116. Z116. And, guys, there really isn't going to be many surprises here. These are pretty straightforward devices. But, it is worth the watch if you are planning on getting one of these. Or winning on one of these in the giveaway. So, mm, alright, so, hmm, okay, that's the button. So, headset goes into here, this is the button, push to talk, clamp right here, I'll put it on your, um, molly vest with Velcro, clamp it on, and you're ready to talk to your teammates with ease. Next, we have the Z112, what I'll talk about version. This actually has the old uh, ztactical.com packaging, which was Element's old name before they switched. Their new website, worldnewelement.com. Alright. Hmm, this has a pretty nice button. So, once again, I'm going to get tired of saying this. Very, very similar to the other ones, except this has a nice ergonomic button. And on the back, it has a very different clip. This seems a lot sturdier than the other ones. So, you know, headset goes into here, plug it into your radio. Okay. Guys, looks like that's it. Actually, no, I'm going to throw this. Throw this in here. Alright. What you're looking at is a big box for a dummy radio. And when I first opened this, I was pretty surprised at what it was. I would thought to myself, who would ever make a dummy radio? Why would you ever use this? You can't press the buttons in, you can't, you know, do anything with it, but it does come with a mock antenna, which is pretty long by itself. You can use this as a melee weapon in CQB. This thing has a good foot and a half range on it, so if you want to embarrass your enemies, go hit them with a radio. Then I realized the actual true purpose of this dummy grenade, which I probably should have caught on quicker but you know there you go it's actually a BB holder it holds 3,000 BB so you can dump your entire bag into this and just close it up it won't open up while you're running or anything have it in your vest it looks a lot better than just having a bag of BBs and I actually might consider using this myself this is a lot cooler than I thought it was you know why would you carry around those big bulky bags of BBs on you and just gonna rattle around it's gonna rattle around in this too but this is this is cool. This is a radio. You can have a radio on you instead of a bag of BBs. So, gonna move on to the review of the headsets later. This has been the Push to Talk video. Thank you guys for watching.